So VTube Studio just came out on Steam. It now has webcam support. And today what we're gonna do is compare the iPhone 12 to four different webcams of varying quality to see which one will work best for you. So to start off our testing, we're gonna begin with the cheapest webcam I can find on Amazon for about $20. This camera boasts 1080p at 30 frames per second, and that's all you really need to make this work. In our test today, we're gonna to be looking to the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, all around, side to side while keeping our eyes focused straight ahead. And then while looking at the camera, moving our eyes in a circle to see just how good its facial tracking is. So what I noticed with this camera is that the eyes and mouth kind of exist in a state of open or closed. There's not a whole lot of in between. However, it does do a remarkably good job of even detecting when I'm smiling, as you can see here. It even manages to handle pretty fast movements. Again, this is a higher quality than I was expecting from a $20 camera. One last thing I did notice is there is some independent eyebrow tracking. I'm not sure if the limited range of motion of them is due to my model or to the software, however. Next up is the Logitech C525, which is a 720p camera that also works at 30 frames per second. And as of this video, you can find on Amazon for about $50. We're gonna try the same test as the last camera where we start off looking to the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, all around. Then side to side with your eyes facing forward and then moving the eyes around to see how good the tracking is. Even from these small tests, I can notice a pretty clear difference, especially with the eyes it seems to be able to update a lot more frequently with how often they move around. And again, just like the last camera, this one responds pretty well to fast movement and I'm noticing a little bit more of a head tilt. Next is the Logitech C920. This is probably one of the most popular webcams in use for both streaming and web conferencing. On Amazon, it looks like it goes anywhere between 70 to $80. And this camera is running at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Starting it up, we're gonna do our tests of looking to the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, all around, side to side with the eyes facing forward, and then straight ahead with the eyes going in a circle fast and slow. After looking through the footage on this one, there doesn't seem to be a very strong difference between the Logitech C525 and the Logitech C920 in terms of their quality and performance. There are a few things that I might've been able to notice, one of which is the eye tracking seems very slightly better, and I don't seem to be having my eyes close as often with this camera. The final webcam that we'll be testing before we move on to the iPhone 12 is the Logitech Brio which can be found on Amazon for around $200. This camera is going to run at 1980 by 1080p at 60 frames a second, unlike all the other webcams, which have been running at 30 frames a second. So let's just hop right into the testing here. We're gonna go look at the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, all around, side to side with eyes facing forward, looking straight ahead with the eyes going in a fast circular motion and then slow. Outside of me blinking a lot because that makes me dizzy. Again, not a whole lot of performance increase. I really thought that with 60 frames a second, you were gonna see a lot of noticeable things, but it seems like 30 frames a second tracking is really all you need as far as webcams are concerned. So at this point, if you're looking to just use a webcam for VTube Studio, it looks like quality really doesn't matter a whole lot. Once you get past a certain point, like probably the 30 to $50 range, there's not gonna be a whole lot of noticeable difference. But now the time has come to compare it to the monster of the iPhone 12. We're gonna put it through the same test that we put all the webcams through, and you can judge for yourself what you think the difference is and if it's worth the cost. Starting off, we're gonna look at the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, all around. Side to side with the eyes facing forward. 
and then looking straight ahead as we move our eyes around in a circle fast and then slow the difference is pretty plain to see the eye tracking is phenomenally better although admittedly it was pretty good on the webcams the thing i really notice is the mouth tracking that seems to be where it truly shines now you no longer have this weird state of in between like open and shut you can leave your mouth open just a little bit like this and everything just seems all around just that little bit smoother it also seems to detect the correct mouth shape to make quite a lot of the time now i'm going to show you what all four webcams and the iphone look like when displayed next to each other using the same test in the top left is the 20 dollar amazon camera in the top right is the Logitech C525. In the bottom left is the Logitech C920. And in the bottom right is the Logitech Brio with the iPhone in the center. All in all, after having played around with the program for quite a bit now, I would have to say that while the iPhone is obviously the best, you can get by with a webcam, especially if price is an issue for you. Even at the lowest end, it still provides a lot of great movement, a lot of good tracking, and honestly, it seems like anything you have will work. So please don't spend outside of your means. I know, especially in the VTubing community, there's a lot of pressure to spend a lot of money to make things look as nice as possible. Please know that you can get by by doing a lot of things for free or cheap. Big shout out to VTube Studio for making a great app and adding webcam support to make VTubing more accessible than it ever has been before. If you're curious about how much it costs to really get into VTubing outside of just the webcam or the iPhone cost, made a video about everything you can kind of expect linked here thanks for watching if there's any other questions especially pertaining to vtubing that you'd like to see me answer in the coming weeks please leave it in the comments below and if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and a subscribe it really helps the channel grow i'll see you guys in the next video